everyone when it comes to bradley beal there are a lot of questions on what is going to happen after this next coming season now he will be an unrestricted free agent after the 2022 2023 nba season and many people believe that bradley beal is going to leave the washington wizards they don't have the assets they don't have the cap space they don't have anything to build a legitimate contender around bradley beal and it's something we've talked about on this channel in the past and especially after the bleacher report interview he said his number one priority is winning that all he cares about is being in a position to win whether it's the Washington Wizards or another team well it is being reported that Bradley Beal has has his mind made up he already knows what he wants to do and what he's going to do but he doesn't want to relay that at this time which makes sense because he's still under contract uh, for next season with the Washington Wizards whether he wants to stay there or he goes elsewhere then of course he's not going to say that yet because that's going to be an issue for this upcoming season but the Wizards don't have any assets that they can just piece together to go get another real star not just that but Bradley Beal himself said he has been actively trying to recruit other players to Washington and it just doesn't work like he even said in the Bleacher Report interview that it really frustrates him at times because all of the trade rumors or free agency signings are about him going elsewhere not anyone going to him at the Washington Wizards which Washington it's a smaller market they've never really been that great competitive team they they're not a, a, a you know a destination that many people feel is like hey I'm going to go there, me and Bradley Beal can win, look at all the pieces we have. They don't. I mean, they traded and got Porzingis, but that was just to kind of swap two bad contracts for a good one. They do have, uh, you know, guys like Kyle Kuzma, but I mean, none of the guys are big star players. They don't have enough pieces to, even if they went and got, say, I don't know, a Damian Lillard, right? Let's say Damian Lillard's like, hey, I'll join you at Washington and he goes there I don't think Damian and Bradley Beal are good enough with the Wizards roster to win a championship I think that they'd be really good I think that they'd definitely be a playoff team but I don't think anything I don't think they'd be a legitimate contender so the problem is is like what does Bradley Beal do well of course as soon as this announcement came out guess who joined the party the Los Angeles Lakers uh, the Los Angeles Lakers uh, report was put out that he that they are now pursuing Bradley Beal and that they are trying to make a trade because it is rumored that Bradley Beal wants to go to Los Angeles to team up with LeBron James and Anthony Davis so the thinking is instead of waiting we'll trade you Westbrook you know THT and you know a couple draft picks you trade us Bradley Beal he's just going to sign with us next season like if you if you don't trade us you're just going to lose him and he's coming to the Lakers anyway so we can either get him for free and just wait it out for a year or you could trade us now you get the cap relief in Russell Westbrook to go maybe get another star you get a young guy in THT something along those lines now I'm not saying that that's what the trade will revolve around but that's very likely what it'll be they'll need to include a Westbrook trade because Westbrook is is a contract that would be similar to Bradley Beal's they got to throw in probably the two first round picks that they have maybe throw in like a late future second and THT there you go um, and now you got at least you got something for him otherwise you're going to lose him and we're going to keep him now I'm not saying that that's for certain that Bradley Beal will go there but all signs kind of point to that um, and usually where there's smoke there's fire you know there, there's all the speculations that he wants to go to LA that he's going to go to LA he's going to team up with LeBron and Anthony Davis LeBron has shown even at this age he is still one of the top players in the league you got a guy in Anthony Davis who can be an absolute monster if Bradley Beal joins that team, he is a perfect complement for LeBron James and Anthony Davis. It doesn't get any better than that. He's also young enough for when LeBron retires, he could still be in his prime and him and Anthony Davis could still lead a charge for the future for the Lakers. So it makes all the sense in the world for the Lakers to go get Bradley Beal, a guy that can play defense, that can knock down shots. Uh, he didn't have a great year last year, but to be fair, he was injured. And again, they don't have, he doesn't have help. He doesn't have anybody that he can go to to really get uh, you know, an, a chance and opportunity. I mean, the, the best team he had was when he had Westbrook there and they made the playoffs, but it was still just the two of them. It was just Westbrook and Beal and they were good enough together to get into the playoffs, but they weren't a legit contender. And now you, you don't like what, do, what has the Wizards done to prove to Bradley Beal? This is the place you need to be. Go sign Spencer Dinwiddie, realize it doesn't work and then trade him immediately to for Kristaps Porzingis, 
who is constantly injured and is not a star and not a guy that's going to move the needle. Like Chris Porzingis, if he's like your third or fourth option, yeah, sure. But not being your second option when you're trying to win a championship, Bradley Beal's going to get a lot of money no matter what. He could care less about the money. He wants to win. Once he wins, then you know, maybe the conversation changes, but he wants to win. It came from his mouth. And the Lakers are one of the few teams with two stars and will have uh, cap space next season. The Lakers for Bradley Beal makes the most sense out of any other team in the league uh, after next season because John Wall, uh, or sorry, uh, Russell Westbrook will be an expiring free agent. So they have the cap space now to go and get Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal plugs in, and they would still have money to go get other pieces. So no, how, no matter how you slice it, they would the, the Lakers would be the best opportunity for Bradley Beal. And I mean, seriously, Bradley Beal, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis is the best trio in the entire NBA. On paper, that's one of the best teams in the NBA. And Bradley Beal would fit with these two beautifully. He can play on the ball. He can play off the ball. He, LeBron can play on the ball. He can play off the ball. Anthony Davis can feed the beast. LeBron's at the end of his career. He can be play facilitator. LeBron's so good, he's going to score 20-plus a game just being LeBron James, right? Just his IQ. Plus, he's improved tremendously as a shooter, so there's not going to be any issues there. He's going to be knocking down outside shots. It's a perfect complement and a perfect fit for the Los Angeles Lakers, and I really think that Bradley Beal is going to go there. Now, we don't have confirmation. We don't know for sure, but it's a little funny that as soon as Bradley Beal comes out and says, I've already made my decision... All of a sudden, the Laker, everyone's reporting that he wants to go to the Lakers and he's going to the Lakers. You know, I mean, granted, it's the Lakers, and that's always the report. That's always the rumor. But, like, not even not even a minute passed. Like, a, like as the reports were coming out with Bradley Beal, the reports for the him going to the Lakers were coming out simultaneously. Like, that usually means that something got put out there. Somebody knows that Bradley Beal wants to go to the Lakers. And it's very possible that Bradley Beal tells Washington... I want you to trade me to the Lakers. That's where I want to go. I want to go to the Lakers. If you trade me to any other team, I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to commit, and I'm just going to sign with the Lakers next year. So get what you can. Go get Westbrook. You get $50 million off the books next season. They'll, they'll probably give you a THT. They'll give you a couple draft picks. I get to go play with the Lakers. I get to go win. I'll re-sign with them, and we're set. Bradley Beal has all the power in this situation. He's he. he did his dues. He played out his contract. He did everything that he was supposed to honor and everything he's supposed to do. He doesn't have to re-sign with the Wizards. And I don't see why he would. I mean, seriously. I mean, the only thing the only thing is, is that the Wizards can offer him $50 million more than anybody else. But still, Bradley Beal is young enough to where he could go sign with the Lakers on a four-year deal, get that $175 million or whatever, win a championship or two, and then re-sign with them, and then still get that $200 million for five years or whatever. Not just that, but the Lakers have shown in the past, comes to their stars, they'll pay extra money just to keep you, and even when you're in your later years. And that's the type of stuff. Like, people want to know, like, why do, you put, why do the Lakers put up with the stuff with Kobe back in the day? Why do they put up with the stuff with LeBron? Because this stuff pays dividends. You know, if they would have treated Kobe badly, LeBron probably doesn't come to the Lakers. You know, and I know a lot of people are upset about the young talent and stuff, but this is the Lakers formula, right? The Lakers didn't build several dynasties over the years by rebuilding and growing players and developing them. No, they went by going and getting stars, whether that's through free agency or that's going and trading for them as they did with Anthony Davis. And very likely is going to be the case with Bradley Beal. Now, again, I'm not saying 100%. I'm not saying this is confirmed. I'm not saying anything like that. But all signs point to Bradley Beal going to the Lakers either this year or next. And I don't think the Wizards want to trade him to the Lakers. I don't think the Wizards want Westbrook back for Bradley Beal. But they might not have a choice. And that's the big thing. They might not have a choice. If Bradley Beal says, I'm going to the Lakers, and that's the only team, they have. what are they going to do? They, no, no other team in the league is going to trade a, a serious amount of assets to go get Bradley Beal. Look what happened with Kawhi. Although Kawhi, he did win a championship that year. But it took the Golden State Warriors losing their entire team. Still, they they the the Raptors they went all in. They they pushed all their chips to the table. Went and got Kawhi Leonard. Won a championship that year, and then Kawhi left. But realistically, that never happens. And as great as Bradley Beal is, he's not a Kawhi Leonard. Where you know if he went to a team, you know like let's say the Brooklyn Nets. 
they want to go get Bradley Beal and they want to trade uh, Ben Simmons and maybe some stuff and they just want to go push it all in for a year. Maybe maybe if we win, we can convince them to sign. I could see something like that happening. But realistically, if Beal says I'm going to Lakers and nowhere else, that's it. The, the Wizards are locked in. Get what you can for Beal. Otherwise, you're going to lose him next year. And he's just going to sign with the Lakers and the Lakers don't lose anything. So that's my point. But as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think about Bradley Beal? What do you think his decision is going to be? You think he stays with the Wizards? You think he goes elsewhere? Um, do you think he does go to the Lakers? Uh, now, again, I'm not saying 100% he goes to the Lakers. I just, if you look at who has cap space next season and who is a contender that can sign Bradley Beal, the Lakers are the only real team that can do that next season. Now, there are teams that could work it out and do things to kind of make it fit and make it work. But right now, the only certainty is the Lakers because you have LeBron James, Anthony Davis, for sure, especially if Bradley Beal comes, LeBron ain't leaving. So now you have Bradley Beal, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and more cap space plus a bunch of young guys. Bradley Beal's going to the Lakers next season unless something major changes. Um, but love your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.